Welcome to an introduction for skateboarding, workshop number two. In this workshop, we'll build on what we did in the first lesson, uh, from developing our turning, getting our balance even better, and hopefully gaining a few skills so you're ready to hit the skate park. If you're new to skateboarding, I'd always suggest recapping a few of the things you've done before, just to kind of remind yourself about the balance, how the board works, and get that brain into gear. Skating is hard, so we're going to do a few warm-ups, a little bit different to yesterday, and a little bit harder. Check them out. So last time, one of the main things we had was jumping onto the board with nice wide feet and bent knees. Just to remind you, we did a lot of these tricks. Wide feet, doesn't matter how you get on, wide feet and bent knees was the key point. We're going to try the same thing again, but this time we're going to 180 onto the board. As before, line your feet up, you're going to land over those bolts, you're going to land the feet at the same time, but you've got to do that 180 on. So lots of the similar principles, wide feet, ready to go on those, on those bolts. Try and land both feet at the same time. Use your shoulders to really help get that twist. Small jump, wide feet and bent knees. And just like before, if you've done that forwards, try the same trick backwards. A little bit harder, but again, I've got my feet wide to start with. I want to land with wide feet. So I'm going to jump, twist, land over those bolts, feet at the same time, and bend those knees. As before, I've got my feet wide to start with. That will help me land with wide feet when I get on the board. I'm going to jump, spin them shoulders, spin them hips, and we're going to land over the bolts, feet at the same time, and bend those knees. That's a good warm up. So let's build on the turning you did in the first workshop. Uh, this time we're going to push, get our feet in the right place, and rather than just do a single tap, we're going to try and tap to the right, and then tap to the left. So effectively tap in front of you, and then tap behind you. So this is called tic tac, push, get your feet in the right space, turn to the right, and then turn to the left. Let's have a look. Push. Feet on the tail, one by the boats. Tap to the right, tap to the left. One last time, we're going to tap to the right, tap to the left, try and repeat that. And this skill is called the tic tac. So we push, feet on the tail, tap to the right, tap to the left. Tic tac. One of the great benefits of the tic tac is you can actually keep up your momentum without even pushing. This time I'm going to start from standstill. And as I swing to the right and left, I'm really going to try and throw a bit of my body weight into it. Check it out. There we go, swing left. I swing my body weight into it. I'm using my arms, throwing my weight into each right and left turn. And as you can see, moving without pushing. Right, so with this challenge, you need to find yourself an obstacle. It could be absolutely anything. A broom handle, a dustbin bag. I've got a bottle of water here. It could be a jumper. I want to see you push and turn around that obstacle without knocking it over. For this one, don't start too close to the obstacle. I'd give yourself plenty of space to get ready. Sometimes you need more space to get prepared because the trick itself is actually quite easy. Here we go, we're going to push, move our feet to the right place, try and turn around the obstacle. Push, get myself ready, foot on the back, lots of little taps. Let's try it again. Give yourself plenty of space. You haven't got to turn a real tight into that obstacle. Give yourself plenty of space. Yeah, lots of little taps, as many as you need to get around it. Right, here we go. Push, foot on the tail, start tapping early. Get around that obstacle. If you want an additional challenge, try going around that obstacle the other way. So you'll be turning behind you. It's a little bit harder, you can't quite see what you're turning. And just real test your balance. Try it out. Same principle. Push, get your feet ready. Lots of little taps. Lots of little taps, as many as you need. Yeah, so let's talk about manuals. And manuals where you balance on just two wheels. Either the front two or the back two. So give yourself a push, put your foot on the tail, and just do a tap whilst moving. We covered it in the first workshop. We're about to make it a little bit harder. Here's a recap. We push, get our feet in the right place, one foot on the tail, just those little taps. To make it into a manual, we've just got to try and hold those wheels in the air for a fraction longer than they're meant to be. I'm going to try one stationary just to show you what I mean. So we've done our, we've done our taps before. This time it's almost like I'm doing it in slow motion. I'm pushing down quite slowly to try and bring those wheels up. So they hover in the air just that split second. Take one more look, we'll do one more stationary. I'm going to tap. Tap again on my third tap, I'm just going to try and hold it in the air. So it's a bit like a seesaw, you're trying to let that thing go down and touch the floor. So here we go, we've got, a, got one tap, two tap, then the slow one, hold it, and like a, a delayed tap. Next up, you can try the same principle moving. Give yourself a little push, go for one tap, two tap on the third one, just try and hold it for that split second. And here we go, push, put on the tail, one tap, two tap, and just hold it for that split second. We'll try that manual just one last time. Tap, tap on that third one. Just try and hold it up. Here we go. Push, 
foot on the tail, one near the boat. So there's my one tap, two taps, hold it up, and one last big tap. Next up, we're gonna try nose manuals. It's effectively the same trick, but we're doing it on the front of the skateboard. First of all, watch me get my feet ready for this one. As always, we've got our push. Rather than my foot going to the back, my front foot is going to the front this time. Right, so for the nose manual, I'm gonna move my feet to the front of the skateboard, and we'll try those taps whilst moving. So push, what's different here, foot goes to the front, and I push the front down to create those taps. And if you fancy it, on that third tap this time, try and hold that nose wheel just for a fraction longer. Let's take a look. So we've got our push. Front foot goes to the front this time. Tap, tap, and the third one. Just try and hold it for that split second. Okay, you may have noticed that my hands were quite high in the air. This kind of helps you balance as the board reacts. Your body will react naturally to it. Then we go a little bit of wide angle. You can watch my arms help me balance. So push, foot to the front, arms out. You can see my arms waving, trying to help my brain and body stay straight. Whether you're doing a normal manual or a nose manual, your arms can be out. It's gonna help you, give you a tool to help balance. I'm gonna try another one now, a little bit longer, and you'll see my arms flailing around as it's trying to help you balance. Here we go, so we've got our push. Foot on the front for the nose manual, arms out. Arms flailing, get your touching balance as you balance on just two wheels. All right, next skill, we're gonna get on the skateboard, move both feet to both ends, try and turn one end, and then try and turn the other end. One end tends to feel a bit more natural, but let me show you, we'll give it a go together. First, so we climb up over those bolts, shuffle one foot out, then shuffle the other foot. From here, you might remember in the first workshop, we did little taps. It's a very similar principle, but this time, we're gonna tap and swing one end, tap and swing the other end. Swing one end, tap and swing the other end. As you can see, a bit like a zombie. So for this one, again, we climb up as always, move both feet to both ends, shuffle them out, we're going to try and tap one end and swing, and then tap the other end and swing. So one by one, you're turning each end of the skateboard and walking forward. If you've managed to get that, you can also do that backwards. Say some of the principle, get your feet on the board, nice wide feet, tap and swing behind you, tap and swing behind you. And there you are, walking backwards. We're going to take that concept of like tapping and moving, and we're going to try and incorporate it whilst we're moving forwards. What we're going to try and do is step over an obstacle. For this one, it's a bit quirky. You're gonna push, get both feet to the end of the skateboard whilst going forwards, and then we're gonna step over an obstacle using the same tap-tap technique. Push the back down to get the front over, push the front down to get the back over. Push, wide feet, step over front, back. We push, we get both feet to the ends, and then when we reach the obstacle, push the back down to get the front over, push the front down, then get the back over. Go, push, feet on both ends. Back down, front down. So stepping over an obstacle is a little bit harder than it looks because uh, whether you've got the skill or not, it can be timing the skill that's the hard bit. So give yourself plenty of time to practice. You can find something as low as you want. It can be even smaller than the stick I'm using. Maybe a broom handle. Even draw a line on the floor with some chalk and just start by doing it on something invisible. Now that the balance is really starting to develop, we want to drop off to an obstacle. What we're going to use is a small curb. You might have a pavement near your house. At the skate park here, we've got this small edge. We're simply going to ride towards the ledge with nice wide feet. If you bend your knees, because the ledge is small enough, it will just drop off and carry on rolling. Now, as the first wheels drop down, there's going to be a bit of a kadunk, a bit of a, uh, a bit of a shock. Don't let that panic you. It's natural. If you've got wide feet and bent knees, your legs are going to absorb that shock and you'll roll off smoothly. Let's take a look. Ride towards it. Get your feet nice and wide. Bend those knees. And you should just roll off. Push. Get those feet nice and wide. Bend those knees. Keep your head forward just a fraction, and you should just roll off the curve. Push, wide feet, bent knees, forward, forward, forward. What have you got? Once you've managed to drop off the curb, if you're feeling fancy, if you're feeling like you want a real challenge, as you get near the end, try and do a little manual off the curb. So whereas before we were just dropping off, and there was a bit of a kadunk, if you learn to manual off something, you lift the front up, normal four wheels, land at the same time. It kind of takes away that little shock factor. It's a little bit harder to do, but again, it will become natural. Let's give it a shot. So we're gonna push, foot in the tail, and just as we reach the end of the curb before we fall off, just push down, do a little manual. Keep the head forwards for safety. We go, we've got the push, foot in the tail, little manual. We're gonna to ride towards the curb just before you reach the end. Push the tail down, do a little manual, and you should hop off the curb, and all four wheels land at the same time. We've got that push, foot in the tail, little manual. Next up, now that you've got down an obstacle, we wanna try and get up an obstacle. 
ride towards it, foot on the tail, and just before you hit it, push the tail down to get the front of the board up on top of it. Check this out. Here we go, so push, foot on the tail, and just before I reach the uh, obstacle, I'm gonna push my tail down and try and get the front up. Here we go. Push, foot on the tail, push the tail down. Let's check it out one more time. I'm gonna push towards the obstacle, and just before I get there, push the tail down, try and get that front up on the pavement. Foot on the tail, push down. So once you've got that board stuck on the ledge, move your front foot to the top of the skateboard onto the nose, push down, lean forward a little bit, and that should just wiggle the board up on top of the obstacle. Check it out. Here we are stuck. I'm moving my front foot to the top. I'm gonna to push that nose down. Oh, yeah. And it should just pop yourself up the curb. Once you're stuck on that ledge, move your front foot to the nose of the skateboard. You're gonna lean this way, push down real hard, and it should just lift the back up, and then you're on top. Awesome, now you've done them separately, try and put the two together. Here we go, check this out. We've got the push, tail down first, nose down after. Tail down first, nose down after. One more time, push, foot on the tail first, and as soon as that front's up, push the nose down and get on that obstacle. Tail down first, then nose. And the more you practice it, the smooth you can get it. Here's one last time, smooth as I can. Tail, nose. And last one, try and do it quite quickly, quite smooth, and you can get up any obstacle you like. Tail down first, then nose. Okay, you've been learning some quirky things. So let's learn something with a crazy name. Let's learn the caveman. So the caveman involves hold, holding your skateboard in your hand, and you're basically gonna throw it to your feet. You've gotta throw the board down and jump, and as always, land over those bolts with nice wide feet and bent knees. Let me show you one to start with. Break it down so you can learn it a little bit easier. You don't have to do a big jump to start with. You can literally start right by the floor. Nice and low. Your eyes stay on the bolts and that's where your feet are going to jump to. You can let go, jump on those bolts. So when you're first learning, start super small. Hold it real close to the floor. Eyes on the bolts. Feet are going to go to those bolts. Just let go, jump on the bolts. Do you want to improve? You can hold it a little bit higher. You can let go and try and jump at the same time. As you want to progress, you don't have to hold it low, you hold it in the air and try and jump at the same time. Remember, eyes on the bolts, that's where your feet are going. And eventually what we try and do, we try and add a little bit of style. You can kind of almost throw it to your feet. Eyes on those bolts, get those feet there. Wide feet is where it's going to really help you balance this one out. If you want to take it to the next level, doing the caveman off something is where it's at. So find yourself your little ledge again, your little obstacle. Again, if you want to, start small, hold it low. Land on those bolts of bent knees, that's the key. A caveman off something, just start small. It's almost like a little tester, just testing the water. A little drop, land with wide feet. And then eventually your goal is, you can literally walk up, push this ledge, small jump, try and land on those bolts every single time. Okay, so we're gonna try the boneless. It's an alternative way of getting the board in the air, a bit like the Ollie, but a lot easier. So for this one, you're gonna stand on the board, you're gonna bend down, and you first of all get your hands on that board, your front foot is going to come off, and you're going to lift this board up before jumping back on. So let's run through it one more time. So you've got nice wide feet on the board, you're going to bend down and grab the skateboard. Front foot's going to come off, you lift it up, and jump back on. It's a fun one to do, you can do it over stuff and off stuff, a lot like the caveman. But it takes a little bit of time just to get that last little, the last bit, the jumping on is a little bit awkward. But give it a go. Wide feet, grab, front foot down. Jump back on the board. Rad, so we've got the main components. We're gonna bend down, grab the skateboard. My front foot comes off and lift it up and try and hop back on. The hop's a bit awkward, but with enough practice, I know you can get it. Here we are, so wide feet. Grab, front foot off, lift, and then the hop. Give it a shot, it's a awkward, but it's a lot of fun. Okay, let's step it up a notch. If this one's well awkward, and there's a definite bit of a shock factor coming up. We're gonna try something called a truck stand. Okay, so the truck stand, the skateboard is not going to be on it's going to be on its side. You're going to stand on top of the wheels and you, by pushing your toes down, the board flicks back to normal. As long as you bend your knees, again, the shock will be absorbed by your legs and it's quite a fun trick. Let me show you one first and we'll see how it goes. Skateboard on its side. If you're standing behind it, the wheels face away from you. We're then going to stand on the board and the wheels. So my foot is on the board and the wheels and then when I'm when I have both feet up, I push my toes down and the board goes back to normal. Here we go one more time. I'm going to stand on the board and the wheels, push my toes down and the board flicks over. Let's give it a go. So I'm climbing up, board and wheels, 
board and wheels. My toes go down and I bend my knees up to take that shot. What you can do to help out rather than just push your toes down, you can do it almost a very small like, little jump and flick forward and that also helps the board end up the right way around. So let's try it again. We're going to climb up on the board and the wheels. Toes down and a little flick. Wide feet, bent knees, keeps you safe. Right, let's try it one more time from the side. You'll hopefully you'll see more of my toes pointing down and a little flick that I do. First of all, climbing up. Board and wheels, board and wheels. Toes down, toes down. Little jump. Brad, you've done that, well done. I always found that scary when I was younger. <laughs> Brad, everyone's doing excellent. Uh, we're going to quickly recap the ollie because it's the main skill we're going to want for the bigger tricks because the next workshop and the last big workshop, we're going to be checking out everything you can do in the skate park. So if you, if you remember correctly, the ollie, the one foot goes down, you jump up. We're going for that wavy technique. Let me show you one and we'll break it down one more time. Feet on the, feet on the board, one on the tail. That's the one you're going to push down and then jump up, push that foot down. So one more time, foot on the tail, foot just before the front bolts, push the tail down, jump up, push the front down. Try and get that wavy motion. You may remember we did that little tap tap thing before. This will help you get the ollie. But again, you learned last lesson, give it a go, keep practicing. It's a thing that develops slowly, but it's super worth it. Rad, I will see you at the third workshop next time. And that is going to get you into the skate park. Well done for trying everyone. Everyone's doing great. Have a wicked day.